Hi, Monty Martin here, Crossing Gracie team, Humboldt Jiu Jitsu, Northern California, under Professor Ari Gallo with uh, daily instruction by Marcelo De Plum. I wanted to demonstrate a, one of my favorite triangles that Ari showed me uh, a number of years ago. Um, so here we go. Meet my friend Wilson. He's going to help us out. All right, so we're going to start from the open guard. Open guard goes from going from closed guard to open guard. Now there's two ways to do it. You can go here and shift, drag the knees together and butterfly. Or I was taught the quicker way is just to go for it. So what you want to do here is wherever their hands are here, and you're going to control both sleeves, okay? Once you have control of both sleeves and you've got your guard closed, the move is to try to push his hands down towards your hips as if you're trying to put his fists in your pocket. That helps to open up the space to get your knees through. One of the other things I like to do is I like to preload them a little bit. So I'll keep my guard closed, squeeze their ribs, push back, and then at the same time as I bring my knees in towards me, I'm going to shove their hands down into my pockets. And that gets you up in here. So what you want to do is you want to get your feet one foot on each hip. And your knees, your shin is going to be in their biceps and the crook of their elbows, pulling your arms up scarecrow. You don't want to be doing this just with biceps. You want to be doing this with a scarecrow position so you can involve, involve all your back muscles and your lats. From here, it's just bicep strength and it's really easy to get broken down. So bring your elbows up and out to the sides, kind of like a scarecrow. You're going to be pushing down to their hips with your feet, pulling up with your arms and opposing pressure with the shins into the biceps so they can't really move. Okay, so there's a lot of really cool positions to go into, a lot of spider guard type techniques, uh, spider guard techniques, sometimes double spiders where you're shifting them back and forth and you're controlling their body and their posture. Make sure you keep them kind of close to you. So the one we're going to do here that I really like is you're going to continue to maintain, maintain uh, sleeve control. You're going to shrimp to the side as you kick this leg free kick it out and go as if you were doing an ar uh, a lasso. Put your lasso would be in here, right? Boom. But what you're gonna do is instead of putting the lasso in, maybe they're bringing the arms in tight and they're making it hard for you to get to there. Your timing was a little off. Maybe you didn't shrimp far enough. Instead, you're gonna bring your knee down and instead of, and you're gonna basically crush on the top of their bicep and bring their arm in and keep it tight. Keeping the sleeve tucked here, okay? So it's a little different than a traditional knee shield. Here and here, but you're actually going to bring your shin up over the top of their bicep and crush down. This helps to break their posture down a little bit. Now, you can pull, you can come up on your elbow here, maintaining both sleeve controls. Boom, I have both hands still. Okay? Now, what I like to do is I like to put a little pressure on their body and blade them away. So it's basically, they're square to me now. I'm going to start extending, extending this leg, okay? The shin into him. As I let the pressure off with this to turn the body sideways, as I drop back and pull this arm in towards me. Now see how I bladed his arm, he's more of a side arm profile. Once I get right to the peak, I'm gonna continue this pressure and let the pressure slip off his shoulder, up, over, shoving the hand through my legs, locking a triangle. And you can switch to one bar, you can finish with a triangle, whichever one you want to do. So, once again, from the beginning. Come here, Wilson, work with me. All right, we got closed guard. He's controlling me, he's making it hard, he's trying to get ready to pass the guard. I'm gonna get both sleeves. I'm gonna bridge him back, I'm gonna shove both hands in, bring both feet to the hips, and now I have him in this nice open guard. He's kind of trapped. Now, I'm gonna turn and shrimp to my side, kick this leg out, bring the shin down over the top of the bicep. Now, once I come up here, I can actually control this position pretty well. I'm blocking his hip, I've got both hips blocked, I can control him. Now, as I lay back, I'm gonna go like I'm trying to kick this leg straight as I haul this left arm towards me. I fall back, kick, shove this hand through my legs, Okay, now I switch my hips from this side to the opposite to bring this leg across. Now I can quickly grab here, switch my grip, put the hip, lock it tighter, and finish the triangle. And that is a big cool variation of the triangle that I learned from Professor Arigala. Say goodbye, Wilson. Thanks. Bless.